Hi, in this video I want to talk about the two files that we can create to make a button on the screen that prints Hello World um, to the console. Um, slightly different to the one we've done before, so if we look at the main Python file, we've imported box layout, which is going to be the root widget um, of our app. And like every Kiwi app, we've got the app class. What I actually do is um, I need to define my root widget, which is here, which is my box, as a box layout by extending the box layout class. And all I've put in this class is any relevant functions that I'm interested in, because in here I'm going to put the functionality um, of my app. And then we've got the name of our um, app, which is name um, app which is an, ex um, the, an extension of the app class. And in here, in my build method, all I do is return a, an instance of the root widget that I made before. And down here is what we've had before. Okay, so let's look at the Kiwi file. So the Kiwi file essentially describes what our widget's going to look like and makes any connections between the parts of that widget and the um, functions within our main Python file. So we can hear our root widget, which is um, furthest over to the left, is my box. I've not had to tell it that this is a box layout. That's taken care of um, here. And um, within there I've got a button, so it's indented. So now I'm gonna write a, a property of the button, which is the text, hello. And then I'm use this on press, which um, it looks for the button being pressed event, and I'm going to connect that with um, the root widgets function click. Now our root widgets will be um, the widget my box, and we're looking for the function click. So there's my box, there's the function click. So this says if we press the button, then run the um, click method within here so it's going to print hello world to the console so if we run that one there so I'll just make this a little bit smaller so you can see so there's my button and I click my button and we get hello world and that's all there is to it oh something I should really mention as well is the names is that this is called name app and then the kv file is called name um, is called name.kv where it's the app bit taken away and everything else done in lowercase okay so that's everything that we need to do there